What is going on, Gamma Nation? My name is Mr. Studley, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get all the legacy outfits in Assassin's Creed Unity. To start things off, you're gonna need two things, and both these things are free. They're just, uh, let's say time consuming. Um, you're gonna need the Assassin's Creed Unity companion app. You can get this from either the App Store or the Google Play Store. I believe that's what they're using on the Android phones. And then you'll, you're just, you'll just download it and I'll show you where to go from there. Next up, you're gonna need an account on Assassin's Creed Initiates. Now, if you've played an Assassin's Creed game and you've connected to the internet, at least since Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, I think you should have been required to make a Uplay account. Now, um, if I'm correct, for the Assassin's Creed Initiates website, you're just gonna need your Uplay account, you're just gonna need to actually just sign in to your uh, Uplay account from Initiates, and then it's gonna activate, do everything automatically. So. Once you have these two things, so registration on Assassin's Creed Initiate's website and uh, the Assassin's Creed Uni Unity companion app, you are good to go. So, I would like to do these um, costumes chronologically, you know, Altair, Ezio, Connor, Edward, even Shea Patrick Cormac, but I figured it'd probably be best to do this from easiest outfit to gain to hardest outfit to gain. Which is why I'm gonna leave Altair Ibn La Ahad for last. And I'm sorry if I butchered the name, that's how I pronounce it. But, but I will tell you one thing, it's better than Altair Ibn La Ahad. So starting off with the easiest, we have Edward Kenway. Now, Edward Kenway's outfit is <laughs> extremely easy to get. If you did step one in my video, uh, more specifically, making a AC Initiates account, you already have Edward Kenway's outfit. Now, you may be wondering, wait a minute, I don't see Edward Kenway's outfit in my um, inventory, you know, in the outfit menu of Assassin's Creed Unity. Well, that's because you actually have to find it in a chest. Every single reward you get from Assassin's Creed Initiates ends up in a chest. Now, which chest, you may ask? The golden chests. Unfortunately, I don't have footage of me opening the specific golden chest um, Edward Kenway's outfit is in, but as memory serves, the outfit was in the starting area of Assassin's Creed Unity, and no, not in Paris, um, I think Versailles. Yeah, the um, home in Versailles, there should be a golden chest around there. That, if I'm correct, is where I did find Edward Kenway's outfit. Sorry if I'm wrong, um, but if it's not in that chest, just go around looking through the other um, golden chests around the city. There really aren't too many, I think about 13, so happy hunting. Um, so you're probably asking yourself, um, how do I get the rest of the outfits? So, moving on. Shea Patrick Cormac. Now this was a surprise to me when I opened up Assassin's Creed Unity for the first time. I didn't expect them to actually have uh, Shea Patrick Cormac's outfit there. Specifically because he's a character that was introduced in a game that came out at the exact same time as Unity, you know? Uh, anyone picking up Assassin's Creed Unity isn't gonna go, Oh my goodness, Shea Patrick Cormac's outfit! Wh why, why, <laughs> why am I speaking like that? Um, yeah, nobody's gonna really go, whoa, Shea Patrick Cormac's outfit, I remember him from so long ago. Friggin' nostalgia, no, nobody's gonna be doing that. But anyway, it's a cool outfit nonetheless. Um, my only problem with it is the cover art for Rogue Lies because his outfit has a hood. However, in the game it doesn't. I assumed you'd unlock a hooded outfit later, but you don't. Unless you do. I couldn't 100% it, got bored. Um... Anyway, so, Shea Patrick Cormac's outfit. You'll get this when you reach level 6 on the Assassin's Creed Initiates website. Um, now, same thing goes for Edward Kenway's outfit. Um, you're just gonna wanna look around for the chests. Next up, Connor! Connor Kenway's outfit. This outfit is un unlocked when you reach level 9 on the Assassin's Creed Initiates website. Same thing applies, you're just gonna wanna go looking around in the golden chests. And last but not least, on the Assassin's Creed Initiates website, we have Ezio Auditore da Firenze. I probably also butchered that name, but it's still better than Ezio Auditore. 
So, to get Ezio's outfit, you're gonna have to be level 13 on the Assassin's Creed Initiates website. Now, if you haven't 100%ed all the other Assassin's Creed games prior, it's gonna be a little challenging to get to this plateau. I mean, this is pretty close to the level cap on the website, believe it or not. So, for those of you guys who haven't actually 100% um, of the games and don't feel like going back to the other games, or perhaps don't even have the other games, there's still a chance for you to rank up some XP, or break up XP, sorry. Um, however, doing this is gonna be a grind. Yeah, did you ever think you'd be grinding in Assassin's Creed? So, what you're gonna wanna do is go to this menu in um, on the Assassin's Creed Initiates website. I said this menu, I'm playing the pronoun game because I don't actually know what menu, um, I don't know what it's called exactly, but I am actually showing you on screen right now, so that does help out. You're gonna go to this menu and you'll see there's a whole bunch of different challenges here. Uh, these challenges are accomplished within the Assassin's Creed Unity game. Um, you have to be online uh, while you're doing them. And they are, oof, oof, they are <laughs> ridiculous. The fighting challenges are pretty, pretty standard and pretty good to do, I guess. You could challenge yourself to just kill more people than you regularly would. But you have challenges like slide under X amount of objects, climb over X amount of objects, throw X amount of money bags. It is a grind. And you'll see um, each challenge, such as, let's say, kill X amount of guards with long weapon, each of these challenges have three tiers. The first tier giving you the base amount of XP, which is, uh, I believe, 100. Second tier giving you 150. And third tier giving you 250, if I'm correct. Uh, this is your only other way to really get XP if you don't feel like playing the previous games. However, if you've done the fighting challenges and you're still trying, like if you're still kind of far, D don't 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 do the grind the grind is real and <laughs> do not attempt it i sat um jumping under and over this one um obstacle for too long <laughs> all right anyway so by this point if you've managed to do this if the grind was real and you succeeded you should now have four Legacy Assassin's Creed outfits. Eh, Shay's semi counts, but yeah, four Legacy Assassin's Creed outfits. Now, the bonus question, the big question how do I get Altair's outfit? You're gonna need the companion app. And let me tell you, this is a problem. I'm sure you've seen that I've had gameplay up, actual footage of me in game. I'm recording this myself. This is my character wearing all the uh, all the legacy outfits I've mentioned to this point. However, I've got nothing for Altair. And you want to know why? Because to unlock Altair, you have to do this specific mission on the Assassin's Creed Companion app. Assassin's Creed Unity Companion app. Um, I'm showing it to you on screen. This particular mission, you have to finish it and then do the next one and then do the last one i gave up <laughs> i gave up a while ago you guys I, I i didn't care enough because i ended up with um the other dude's armor Ugh, i can't remember his name uh, sorry about the can't remember things i'm not actually at home right now uh, in new york currently um but um so I don't, I don't, I didn't bring my Xbox. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know these things. I don't know these things. I got the footage with me, but I'm not actually watching it. Um, uh, I think it was the armor of Thomas de Cornelion. Yeah, yeah, Thomas de Cornelion. Um, his outfit's pretty much a black version of Altair's outfit. I was, you know, when I got that outfit, I was like, eh, it's fine. I don't care anymore. Um, but for those of you tryhards, I thought I was tryhard. This is next level. And you don't do anything. You just wait, which is the craziest part. <laughs> All you gotta do is tap about 20-ish times and you just go to bed or something. I, I can't do it. It's annoying. But, um, yeah. Do this particular mission on the Assassin's Creed Unity Companion app and you're good to go, kiddo. Yeah. Sorry. I don't have nothing really else. No tips. No tricks. 
even if you spend your money and buy the um, premium version of the app, which I did, gets you the premium assassins for of them. Basically, all they can do is level up to the max level. Doesn't really help. They all still kind of suck anyway. This app was horribly made. Ubisoft are terrible people. I'm just rambling. I'll see you guys in the next video. My name has been Mr. Studley. Have a good Christmas. Is coming back. Uh, speaker, I know my character's paper thin, but he's gonna need a little more than that to join your. What can I do? Wait, what? What the fuck, dude? I'm on a car. Ah! Twenty thousand. <laughs> Yeah, but you only have 10, right?